Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hallemeyer. Today we're going to be using the app Autodesk Sketchbook and we're going to be drawing from photographs. So in this first picture here you can see that I kind of had a trail mix bag and I put that photo in the background layer in Autodesk Sketchbook and I was able to draw over it to design my own snack bag. In this one you can see that I designed my own face mask. In this one you can see that I designed my own Kleenex box. So you get the idea boys and girls. You can even do this with portraits of people. However, if you do decide to draw over a portrait of a person, it does help if you have something like a stylus or a log tech crayon as you see here because drawing with your finger, those lines can be really hard because they're so small around the eyes and nose and facial features. It's just easier if you have something with a thinner tip to draw with. So let's get started. You're going to download the Autodesk Sketchbook app, if you haven't already, from the self-service menu on your school-issued iPad if you're in District 196 or you're at Deerwood Elementary. Once you've downloaded the Autodesk Sketchbook app, its logo is red with a pencil on the inside. You want to tap the app, open it up, and the first thing you're probably going to see is that the app wants you to take a quick tutorial. Don't worry about taking that. Go ahead and skip that, but if you want to go through it, you totally can. Once you're in Autodesk Sketchbook, you want to make sure that your iPad is going horizontally or the wide way. For some reason, I see more tools at the top when I'm in the app when it's facing that way. So once you're in the app, you want to go up to that little mountain with the plus at the top, press that, and then that's going to bring you into your photos. Once you're in your photos, you want to select the photo that you want to draw over. So I'm going to, again, kind of select that uh, Costco snack bag that I got, the trail mix, and I'm going to draw over that one. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to press done and bring it into the app. So now you're going to see me work in layers. So look over to the right hand side. You're going to see a blue box that's surrounding a white area. That's called a layer. And on top of that, you see the layer with my photograph. Now, right now, the one selected is not the one you want. Boys and girls, you want to draw on top of the photograph. So you want a layer above the photograph. So see that plus at the top of that column? You want to hit that plus, and that's going to make a new layer on top of your photograph. Now once you're on that new layer and you see it's selected in blue, you can draw. So you want to go over to the left hand side and you want to find the ballpoint pen tool that you see I have selected right here. If you click the color under that tool, right now it's black, you're going to see a whole color range will pop up and you can switch the color of your pen. I like it black so I'm going to leave it. After your color is selected, you're going to go back, tap on that ballpoint pen. You can change the size of the pen. I'm going to up mine to about seven, so it gives me a nice thicker line to draw. Tap the pen again, and that sizing tool will go away. So now you're going to see me trace and draw on top of the photograph. Now keep in mind, I'm drawing actually on top of the new layer that's on top of the photograph. I'm not drawing on top of the photograph itself. And remember, boys and girls, if there's something that you do when you're tracing and you don't like it, you can always hit the undo button as you see me doing here. There are a couple lines that I kind of traced and they weren't as I like. So you can see I keep undoing it. That arrow is in the upper left hand corner and it's pointing to the left. That will undo what you just did. I'm going to speed through my tracing here really quick. You're going to see me draw some lines and undo a lot of them. So you're probably going to do that too. And now I'm going to look over to the right hand side. And when my tracing is done, I'm going to tap the eyeball on the layer with the photograph. If I tap that eyeball, the photograph is going to go away. Boom. And then if I want the photograph to show back up, I can just tap the eyeball again and it will come back. Now I'm ready to color it, so I definitely want the photograph gone. So I'm going to tap the eyeball, make it disappear, and now I'm going to switch tools. And over on the left hand side, you're going to see me switch to a watercolor brush. It's kind of thicker there. And I'm going to change the size of that brush to maybe about 30, because I don't want it as big as it is right now. And I'm going to change the color. Once I've changed the size and the color, now I'm going to start to color in my drawing how I want. Here's a helpful tip for when you're coloring. If you need to zoom in to get into a really small area, take your two fingers and pull them apart. That will let you zoom in on your drawing. To zoom back out, take your two fingers and push them back in together towards the center of the iPad. 
Now to finish this up, I'm going to add some text. So if I tap the capital T up at the top of my iPad, that's a text tool. You're going to get a text box that pops up. I'm just going to type in a label name for this new thing that I designed. And once I type it in, I'm going to hit return. Once I hit return, I'm going to tap on the iPad screen. Don't tap done yet. I'm going to tap on the iPad screen and now I can edit my text. So I can move it around with my finger by just tapping on it as you see and pressing down. I can spin it by taking two fingers and twisting my fingers back and forth so I can change the angle that the letters are at. I can also change the size of the letters by pinching the letters smaller or pinching them wider. So I'm going to put this on my picture where I want it and then when you have it the way you like it then you're going to press the blue done button up in the upper right hand corner. Now once I've hit done, boys and girls, and I'm back at the screen, you're going to notice that my text is now on a new layer. It's a layer above the drawing. So what happens if you want to get rid of a layer? If there's a layer you don't like. So that bottom layer underneath my photograph there, I don't really need that. So here's how you get rid of a layer. Select the layer, tap on it quickly once, and when you tap on it, you're going to get this menu that pops up and you're going to see a trash can. You see delete there? If I just hit the trash can, now that layer is deleted and it's gone. Now to wrap this up, we want to take a photo of this. So the fastest way to do that is probably to take a screenshot by pressing the home button and the power button on your iPad at the same time. There is another way to save it, boys and girls, if you don't want all the tools in the picture. So go up to the upper left hand corner and tap that uh, thing that looks like a page. If you tap that, you're going to get this window. You want to tap gallery next. Then you want to tap save current sketch. Once you tap Save Current Sketch, you're going to get this window because now it's saved in Autodesk Sketchbook. You want to tap the square down at the bottom or the rectangle with the three lines by it on the right hand side. Then you want to tap Share at the top. Once you tap Share at the top, you're going to get this window and you want to tap Save Image. When you tap Save Image, you're going to get this. Sketchbook is going to ask you if, you, if it can have access to your photos. You definitely want to click OK. So once you tap OK, press your home button and then you should be able to go to your photos, that logo that looks like a flower, and you should be able to scroll down and see your sketch at the bottom without all of the tools on it. And it just looks like a nice drawing. Now that your drawing is in your photos, either by taking a screenshot of it or doing it the way I just showed you, you are able to now upload it to Schoology or Seesaw.